Ah, this is a new paradigm. People say, well, why is this a new paradigm for an engineer, a scientist, etc.? I'm going to show you this in a rather graphic way. If we have a problem here that's on the table, do experts and visionary people go toward the problem or go away from the problem to understand it? Step back, Step back right? But when we're in a technical area, technical people tend to go toward the problem or away from the problem? They go toward the problem. And the closer they go toward the problem, do they see more details or fewer details? More. Right? And when they look at all that detail, they tend to get caught up in the detail. Then how much detail is enough detail? No. We're never satisfied if our mode is to solve a problem by detail. Right? right? And so then, basically, we're down there with all these details, and we have to come up with a conclusion that's actually going to lead to a future outcome, and we have a problem. All right? What's even worse is, when we look at one problem this way, and somebody gives us another problem, we may take this tendency. We look at this other problem, and it looks like it's a totally different problem because we didn't take the, the time to step away and look at it and go, wow, those two are really similar. And this is how they're similar, and this is what they're different. So we can utilize the expertise that we got off the other job to solve this job. And that is the number one problem in the traditional paradigm of engineering and consulting services, is we do not actually utilize expertise. We want to get the job. And then we want to look at it and tell people this is how much time we need to try to figure out what to do. If we get the award, we just try to apply engineering services to it. And we don't actually utilize expertise learned on previous jobs. Think about the mechanism. It's how engineers, I'm not sure about scientists, but I'm sure it's similar because doctors are exactly the same way. All right, so doctors today number one, do not know as much as doctors of old. And then they more or less try to go to some type of standard to minimize their decision making and risk. Right? Well, engineers are in the same boat.